For this video I decided to, to try something I have zero experience with and that is creating a 3D game in a browser. The initial plan was to build Dragon Ball Z arcade fighting game, but I ended up choosing Squid Game theme and specifically Green Light Red Light game. If you would like to see some Dragon Ball Z action in future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, for actual game 3D graphics I used 3GS JavaScript 3D library with WebGL renderer. Initially I started writing everything from scratch, but to make things a little bit faster I pulled in Yuka library. Yuka is a JavaScript library for developing game AIs independent of a particular 3D engine. It provides things like state management, autonomous agent design, steering, triggers, etc. Honestly, I struggled a bit, had to hard code a thing or two, but overall it was a really fun experience. In a game we have 100 NPC players next to user controlled player. I added three different movement behaviors for the NPC player and that is dumb, suiciders and smart ones. Dumb one makes the NPC player just run straight, ignoring the red light. Obviously they get shot almost instantly. Suiciders do almost the same except that they can run in any direction. Smart ones, on the other hand, are smart enough to play by the rules. They stop during the red light and keep moving forward on a green light. I also randomized the running speed so that not every smart NPC player would make it to the end. We also have multiple 3D model animations like walking, running, dancing and multiple dead animations for when a player gets shot. While creating this game, I made a few clips to illustrate my progression, so without further ado, let's take a look at the demo. Yeah, so since it was my first ever 3D game using 3GS and I didn't know what I was doing, therefore I'm not going to walk you through the code explaining every piece of it. I will just scroll through all the files, you can pause it if you want to. And yes, I know, I know, I should push the code to GitHub, maybe sometime in the future or when someone in the comments will ask for it. And of course, I will link all the 3D models I used in the video description. For animations, I used Mixamo.com. You can upload any 3D models there and apply the animations of your choice.
Hope you enjoyed this video, found it somewhat useful and maybe a little bit entertaining. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so, we would love to have you on board. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video.